everybody, welcome back to the Grindhouse. It's me, Groovy here, and today we're coming at you with a trailer reaction for a sequel to a film that I personally enjoyed greatly. That's right, baby. We dropped a trailer for Don't Breathe 2. Now, I actually really enjoyed the first film. It was directed by Fede Alvarez, produced by Sam Raimi's Ghost House Productions, starring Jane Levy, Dylan Minnette, and also the wonderful Stephen Lang. And yeah, I'm not sure how many of those people are coming back for this sequel. I feel like this trailer kind of dropped out of the middle of nowhere. But let's take a peek. Let's put on our headphones and let's see what we got going on. And go. Huh. When does this take place? The gun is in my hand. Sorry, I'll make it next time. You almost got me, didn't you, boy? <laughs> we had a lot of fun today. I could take her gun next week. No, always safe. Produced by Fede Alvarez. Okay, so this is a completely new girl. Uh huh. Shadow. They didn't kill his dog, did he? Yo, y'all in the wrong fucking house. <laughs> Is she living with him? Hey, does she know what's in his basement? Oh yeah, they done fucked up. Coming with us, kid. Mm. Ooh, okay. Don't go in the basement. But the man standing next to you. Now, I don't know who he is, but I know who he's not. She got to tell her you. Okay. Okay. He's gonna come for me. No. You're gonna see what I see. Absolutely nothing. Whew. Don't blink, baby. <sighs> Is he fucking Daredevil? <laughs> Don't breathe too. Alrighty, well. That looked pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie. Not quite sure what's going on in this. So did he not get in trouble for anything that happened in the first movie? It's been a little while since I saw the end of the first movie. And I'm not going to go and research it and act like I know exactly what happened in it. Because, hey, fuck that shit. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm guessing that he's kind of befriended a new girl and her daughter. And that she's kind of living with him while he's taking care of the girl while he's at work or while she's at work. And then I'm going to guess that potentially it's going to be like a kindergarten cop kind of situation where the father of the kid is probably like some sort of organized mobster or something like that. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in it. Seems to me like it's got a little bit of a collection vibe, right? Where they're going bigger, badder. They're trying to do the aliens things, right? Like they're trying to bring in armed people that kind of should know what they're dealing with. If they know who he is, then you would assume that they would know what he's capable with, right? They're coming in armed, right? Like at this point, you feel like they just shoot him on sight and get the kid back. Like they don't care about this guy. Like, I'm not sure. 
But was there braille on that hammer, right? Like, I feel like there were like some sort of metal studs on that hammer, potentially so he could identify it easier. I don't know. Not sure though. Could be interesting though. Definitely not bad. I actually really did enjoy the first one. It's been a little while since I saw it. And then I don't think this is directed by Fede Alvarez, right? It's directed by somebody else, but it's like produced and written by Fede Alvarez. So it's the same team behind it. It just has a specifically different person behind the camera, but it looks good. I'm just curious as to how we get to this point in the man's timeline. But other than that, I'm going to call this one. We got more stuff to record. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit a like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you know when we go in and drop more content here for you. Until next time, stay safe, stay scared, but no matter what you do, Stay groovy, people.